I had a guardian angel with me that day. The next person may not be so lucky. Cement falls from an overpass right onto a woman's car, causing major damage. Unfortunately, it is something we have seen before. This time, though, TDOT tells News 4 the cement was likely from damage to the bridge caused by another vehicle. And the driver tells News 4's Brittany Weiner she could have been seriously hurt. Brittany. Tracy, that concrete actually hit the woman's roof, smashing her sunroof. She says if her sunroof wasn't closed that day, that cement could have come right inside and injured her. All of a sudden, I heard the most horrific sound. Cement fell onto Kim Clark's car as she drove under this overpass on Murfreesboro Pike near I-24. Every bit of my sunroof was literally flying off in bits and pieces. TDOT went out and says the bridge was hit by an oversized load, but it was never reported. But you could see where the chunk of the concrete fell out. Clark says people have been reaching out to her, saying they've had similar incidents on roads around Middle Tennessee, including Aaron McDermott. It was very loud. I immediately screamed. McDermott uh, spoke with News 4 last oh. month after cement hit her car on I-40 between the Broadway and Division overpasses. Gosh, something needs to be done. It's not just this bridge. TDOT inspects every bridge in Tennessee every two years. There's more than 800 just in Davidson County. The Broadway and Division overpasses were last inspected at the end of 2017. The bridge where Clark's car was damaged was last inspected almost exactly two years ago. Rebar is hanging off that bridge. It's in horrible shape. TDOT says CSX, who owns the bridge, is responsible for repairs. CSX tells News 4 they'll be doing additional inspections and cooperating with TDOT to determine the next steps. They say they also do annual inspections and their records show the bridge is structurally sound and safe for railroad traffic, adding people should note the low clearance signs, which Clark believes there should be more of. If they're waiting for a fatality to happen before they do something about it, that's a shame. TDOT tells me they will be out tomorrow, weather permitting, inspecting the overpass here at Broadway and also down at Division to see if any cement possibly fell from them onto McDermott's car. When we talked to her last month about this incident, she believed someone may have actually thrown the cement off one of these overpasses. Tom and Tracy. Brittany, thank you for that live report tonight.